Now with that kind of orientation, we can now take a look at some other, uh, maybe more traditional types of uh, Cook Island genres. The first one we want to look at is the Ura Pa'u, with a, which is a drum dance with no vocals except for spontaneous shouts and, and enthusiasm. And I think you will notice a, a relationship between this genre and the Tahitian Otea dance.
Now, just a few things I need to mention about that video. Of course, when you see the, the use of the lighting on the stage there, it's kind of in a rock concert, light show kind of way, and that's, of course, not traditional. But it just shows you how we're incorporating other kinds of production values into contemporary uh, Polynesian music and dance. Uh, the other thing I want to mention is that when I first started learning about Pacific Island music, oh, about 16 years ago, um, I think I would have mistaken that group for a Tahitian group. In other words, in, in my inexperience, I would have thought that that, uh, if I didn't see a, a title identifying it as Cook Islands Dance, I think I probably would have thought it was Tahitian. So you can see how many uh, connections there are. Okay, this next one, this next genre is Kaparima. And even in the name, you can see uh, a language um, similarity between Aparima, Himine, and Kaparima. Similar types of genres, storytelling songs with gestures and with dancing, accompanied by string bands, sometimes with percussion, and you will hear the percussion in this Cook Islands version. Um, now, this particular uh, video that you will see was produced by the government Ministry of Culture, to represent uh, Cook Islands traditional music and dance. And uh, it's from a Cook Islands festival. It's an annual festival commemorating its uh, rich cultural traditions. Um, so a competitive group. And what you're going to see is actually a medley of several Kaparima songs strung together with some traditional chanting. So um, a production style that is uh, kind of a contemporary hybrid of some different ideas.
Next we'll see a genre, experience a genre called Imene Tuki. It's a choral genre with strong ties to Christian hymn singing. Uh, it's very similar to a Tahitian genre called Himene Tarava. And so it might have a, a spiritual or biblical message, but not necessarily. Islanders believe that it contains some pre-contact elements. So you not only get the uh, relationship to hymn singing, but you get some uh, cultural uh, practices that that probably came even before the Christian missionaries came. One of the things that you'll experience in here is a sense of independence between the men's parts and the women's parts. Uh, they, they fit together very nicely. Uh, they harmonize well. But I think you'll get a sense that it's kind of a back and forth uh, musical ideas. 
and the men are very, very strong and very energetic. And I find this kind of singing very compelling. Even though I don't understand the words, I can appreciate the emotion that comes through. Hey, hey, hey.